Hi, yet another important video from the playlist electronic devices and circuits and a continuation to my previous video. Guys, uh, check carefully while we have to derive the expression for ripple factor of a capacitor filter, full wave rectifier and a capacitor filter. You come across this one, a triangular waveform and the RMS value we being uh, VR peak to peak, this will be peak to peak voltage and uh, there's something like that one. I have a proof of this one right the very the very previous video of mine i didn't erase this intentionally by because i wanted to continue from this point all right so check while we while one have to derive the expression for ripple factor of a full wave rectifier with the capacitor filter in between the derivation you come across this one uh, the output the tra uh, the waveform from a uh, capacitor filter that circuit will be triangular in nature and the rms value of a triangular waveform is this one they'll say and we had the pre the proof previously all right so i suggest you to go to the previous video if if you wanted to have the proof of this one we'll have to start from here and some assumptions all right some assumptions and uh, some standard expressions some standard expressions uh, like uh, there is a small um, um, there is a need of uh, uh, recollecting some previous uh, standard expressions uh, some standard definitions define current a current is defined as a rate of flow of charge, isn't it? I that will be uh, d q upon d t and or else uh, q by t. All right, uh, this is one expression we have to make use of over here. And on the other way, on the other hand, uh, what is that? We, we also have that definition that ratio c is equal to uh, q by v of a capacitor, then eh? charge, capacitance, charge, voltage. We have that relationship isn't it and it will be also said or else ask your teacher to show it so the output will be like this one uh, it will be a sort of sort of waveform but let's approximate to a triangular waveform um, for the um, okay like approximation um, a, approximating the um, the waveform to triangular waveform and 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 you know the reality is your mobile battery is the best example for a capacitor which stores energy all right so <clears throat> when you charge your mobile 0 to 100 percent it's gaining some charge isn't it from 0 to 100 percent and the next question is to what value that discharges from 100 percent to 0 percent is, is isn't it so does that the charge go below go beyond that zero percentage will that go to minus five percentage no that's insane no that doesn't happen so uh, what amount of charge it gains that same amount of charge it loses make underline this uh, point all right so the charge gained of a capacitor will be equal to the charge lost all right and and what what this expression says xc is equal to 1 by omega c which is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc uh, with the increase if you talk about dc f the frequency will be zero and the reactance will be infinite what is that says uh, it allows as open circuit to DC that L, that won't allow a DC in, in other words it's rejecting it losing DC all right so if at all we say that we go for that explanation losing there we have to uh, append a DC voltage or current all right so this one f is equal to zero that will be DC and uh, XC will be infinite on the other hand with the increase in frequency in a sense uh, once it is increasing we are talking about AC so with the increase in frequency uh, there will be a decrease in the capacitive reactance in the sense uh, for AC the capacitor will be acting as a short circuit it allows it gains AC that statement has to be underlined all right so in that way uh, yeah, this is you have to understand this one also. So the triangular waveform, it's it's nothing but it's a charging and discharging, gaining and losing the charge. So uh, what it gains, let it be uh, Q gained will be equal to Q lost. All right, for a triangular waveform, I mean for a capacitor, and uh, from this point to this point, let this be uh, T. All right. So in that case, this will let this be T1 and T2. From the picture, what can we make out? So T2 is equal to half of T. This has to be made as please do, don't get confused. All right. T2 is half of a, this is half. This is complete T and T2 is the half of T. 
is t2 is half of t all right and yeah from this very expression the standard expression what do we have q will be equal to i into t from this very expression and from here it's a q into i mean q will be equal to c into v now if i say it's a gain q gained and if i say it's q lost all right and q gained we have c nothing to do with this it's a it's a constant what will what can we do with this one all right it's a constant and we have a voltage now the question is will this be a ac voltage or dc voltage which will be gained by a uh, capacitor gain it allows it's gaining it's taking so this should be ac and nothing but vr uh, that will be uh, that will be vr peak to peak all right this one from this point to this point that will be vr peak to peak voltage that will be accepted by the capacitor on the other hand guys it's lost in a sense it's losing or it's rejecting or acting as a short circuit to what a time what the hell will we do with the time let this be this time t okay but i'm there's a small change in the notation t and we are talking about losing so this this t comes to the picture that's t2 all right and it's losing it's rejecting it's acting at a, as a uh, what open circuit it's not allowing it's losing that's it so what current that will be it's it's a charge losing lost so we have to talk about the current so what current will it accepts and what current it loses it doesn't allow i uh, dc component so this will be i dc all right so q lost will be equal to q gained in the sense this expression will be equal to this expression what is that c v r peak to peak voltage that which is accepted by the capacitor this product will be equal to i dc into t2 all right so this is the time only time t uh, general expression and why this came into the picture t2 we are talking about the charge lost so this is the amount of uh, i mean this is duration and t2 and another transformation is t2 is equal to half of t isn't it t2 is equal to half of t uh, so can we write down this as i dc uh, t2 uh, t by 2 all right and from this expression we are peak to peak we are peak to peak will be equal to i dc uh, t by 2 into c and what is the relation between time and frequency inversely proportional isn't it t will be equal to 1 by f now that could be plugged over here in the place of t i am substituting directly uh, it's a 1 by f t 1 by f to fc like that okay so now this is the expression for vr the final expression for vr peak to peak right from where did we start uh, from this one this very expression and uh, triangular waveform the output from a capacitor filter and the reality is whatever amount it it charges the same amount it will discharge all right 0 to 100 percent and back 100 percent to zero that doesn't fall beyond minus five like that that's insane no stupidity that will be so these are the important expressions all right now we are all, almost there uh, previously when we did i lose something no i have all the stuff no no, no. there is a small change okay okay uh, let me tell you in the uh, expression for the ripple general expression for the ripple factor it's a i ac rms by i dc if we have the current terms or else the same ripple factor could be represented with that uh, ratio v ac rms by v dc also all right so this ac uh, ripple v r rms the same thing uh, ripples ac ac ripples so uh, what uh, what is that we come back to this one v v ac rms or v r rms is the same thing all right which is equal to vr vr peak to peak upon uh, 2 root 3 uh, that expression which we have proved for the rms value of a triangular waveform all right and again vr peak to peak can be plugged in with this one with all the discussion what is that i dc upon 2 fc 
all right so i've told you where did we get that c where did we get that one f and how that two came into existence by uh, this is for entire vr peak to peak isn't it so this has to be multiplied so this should be uh, this comes as it is into uh, 2 root 3 all right so what will be vr rms there is small change over here please note according to ohm's law v equal to ir isn't it so i will be equal to v by r isn't it so we have current that idc so uh, how can that be written in terms of voltage and uh, resistance so that could be written, written as v d c upon r l only for this one all right so all this comes again 4 root 3 f c all right this is expression for v a c rms or v ripples rms and now the expression for ripple factor is this one all right so ripple fact expression for ripple factor we have v r rms by v d c so this is the entire one what is that oh let me uh, if i don't repeat that again uh, a backbencher like me uh, we cannot understand so v d c upon 4 root 3 f c r l upon v d c so these gets cancelled and find my final expression y my it's a general expression for the final expression for ripple factor is uh, what is that 1 by 4 root 3 f c r l expression for the ripple factor of a full wave rectifier with a capacitor filter right Thanks for watching.